Hello, my Sparries. It's Hey Keisha at Life Exchange Ministry and Life Exchange Coaching. So today it's another video for you. I just want to talk about a dream that I got and I know it's not for myself and I got this dream before the New Year's. So I know this year is going to be a awesome year, a really, really good year for a lot of us. If you want to hear what this dream is about, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me some big thumbs ups and to comment down below because I want this um, this channel to be a little bit more active and I want more questions. And if you guys need any help with anything, just let me know. So stay tuned. So guys, I dreamt just before the new year because I was like, you know, thinking what is New Year's going to be like? What is, is it going to be like 2020? Is it going to be even worse than 2020? Is it going to be better? But I know for me, a lot of us has been going through a lot. We went through a lot in 2020. And for me, those tears that we cry, those hardship that we went through, those are seeds that we were sowing for this year. Those are, this is the year that we will be reaping all those tears that we put in, all those struggles that we went through, but we made it out alive. And I just want to just encourage you guys. I got this dream that I was in a field, like the fields of pink and white flowers, just beautiful flowers all around all around and i was just walking and ha and i was taking pictures and i was just looking i'm like the field is like as a feel of grass like a feel of i don't know how to describe it but it's instead of grass it was all flowers beautiful pink and white flowers and i was walking along in the um in the field and i was walking along and there's just plenty of flowers. Like I was in shock and awe because I've never seen so many flowers, pink and white and colors. And then a voice said to me guys that the voice said, come on child, take all that you need and do your victory dance. And that was a voice of God that was speaking to me. Like it, it is your reaping season last year 2020 we weren't a we didn't see anything but sorrows disappointment we were depressed we were in fear of our life and now is the time to do our victory dance god has been do doing a lot in my life and i know he's going to do a lot for you guys and i've been praying because i wanted to know what should i be telling my viewers and you know that dream that dream came to me do your victory dance take all that you need and do your victory dance because i've cried so many tears last year 2020 i've gone through so many things spiritual warfare suicidal thoughts thank god i didn't fall for anything because but when you read the bible and build a relationship with god you realize even when the devil is coming at you with things that seems to make f sense in the flesh the holy spirit is here God sent us the Holy Spirit to guide us so that we don't make that mistake and listen to that fleshly voice. But I am like excited for this year and I have faith that everything is going to go just perfectly fine. And the scripture that came to me after I had that dream was Deuteronomy 28. 1 to 12 and i'm going to read it with you guys because i wasn't going to read it i wanted for you guys to read it yourself but i'm going to read it with you guys so guys i'm going to read deuteronomy chapter 28 1 to 12 and have been reading this chapter ever since the new year started because that was this is what god laid on my heart after i got that dream about doing my victory dance and i've been sharing this with a lot of people every time they email me or send me or make any comments and i wanted to tap into for them to tap into that part of their life i asked them to read it also because i believe it's not for just me it's for all of us so deuteronomy 28 1 through 12 hopefully i don't bore you guys with it but 
this mean a lot to me and hopefully it means something to you. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crop of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves and your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Your baskets and your kneading thaw will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and bless when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hands to. The Lord, your God, will bless you in the land he is given you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on oath. If you keep the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in obedience to him, then all the people on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, the, and the crop of your ground in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will, and this is 12, the Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, and send rain on your land in season to bless all the work of your ends. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today to the right or to the left, following other gods and serving them and that's up to 14 i'm sorry i just wanted to read it to you guys just in case you guys forget to look at it for yourself but if you want to continue reading it and reading it and reading it and, and using this these words as affirmation then that will be great that's what i've been doing and i know god has something in store for me something 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 and i just wanted to use this youtube channel as my journal so that you guys can see my struggles my victory my you know like everything that i've been going through and how god has delivered me and I'm, i know he'll do the same for you if you guys continue watching motivational videos and just something these videos that will uplift your spirit i know you guys will see a blessing and God will just out outpour rain upon your house upon your fields upon your land and as he said you will be blessed in the city and blessed out in the country that's it for me today guys hope you guys have a great day great week and a wonderful year thanks for watching see you in my next video